Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and a different kind of video for me. Um, you guys said on my Instagram that you wanted more kind of mummy, baby, <laughs> family things as well. Um, and I literally just did a massive like baby wear haul for Margot from Zara. I always have been like buying her cheap things because I was like all her clothes get stained from weaning but I didn't really like them and then I was like I need to just buy the stuff that I want to buy and put her in a proper bib and protect the clothes and make them last longer because it's more sustainable anyway so that's what I'm going to do from now on so I did a big order of Zara and to be honest it's not that much more expensive than like the supermarket clothes which I was buying before so yeah I I made the right decision um, so I'm just going to show you, I've got a massive pile here, I have got some bits from the White Company too that I got for her, a couple of summer dresses and things, and also, if you don't already know, I'm 18 weeks pregnant, so I've also got a couple of teeny tiny baby stuff too, just because, I mean, we're waiting to find out the sex of the baby before we kind of buy anything, because we have so much girl stuff already, but I couldn't resist buying something, because I haven't bought anything yet, and I feel like it makes it a bit more real, um, so yeah. Let's get started. So the first thing, a couple of these things she's worn already, so they're dirty. Um, I couldn't resist putting her straight in them. Um, it's this little jumper, like, I want it for myself. It's so soft too, and it was £15.99, so I feel like that's the same sort of price you'd pay for a jumper um, anyway in, like, most of the stores. I don't think it's super expensive. They had it in, like, the classic white and blue Breton stripe too, but I just feel like kids should wear fun pastel -y colours. Um, but I'll probably end up getting her the other one too because I keep I can't stop shopping there now Then so I'm not gonna do like try-ons on these obviously because she's like my baby But I'll put some pictures in of her wearing them um, if I've got pictures of her wearing them But not all of them I do um, And then the next is this little jacket and she only wore it once for about half an hour And then it's had to go in the wash which is why it's a bit wrinkly um, But it's washed well um, She threw up on it so yeah, and um, when I first got it, I thought it was reversible, but it's not. But it's a shame because it's such a nice lining. They de definitely should have just lined the sleeves as well and got rid of the label and made it reversible. Um, but yeah, and then it's got this little embroidery detail at the back. It's just very cute. Very, very cute. Then I got some hair clips for her. I mean, there's nothing special about them, really. They're just like little pink hair clips, but she's turning into a bit of a Subo haircut. <laughs> She's basically got these wild curls and it doesn't matter what we do, she just wakes up with them like Ugh. So um, yeah, I've decided that I need to start doing something to like flatten the top bit Then this is my favourite thing probably, oh no, second favourite It's these dungarees, I'm obsessed with them, she's already worn them yesterday to her friend's house Which is why the knees are like covered in food because they had like a picnic aka Threw the bowls all over the floor and then crawled through them um, it took me ages to work out how to open these because it looks like they look like proper ones, but they are poppers. Um, and again, these were only £17.99, which I feel like you would probably pay that for them in a supermarket. Like Tesco's, I feel like the sets are around that price. The only difference is that you would get a long sleeve vest to go with it, probably. Um, whereas with these, it's just the dungarees, but then you can go to like the supermarkets and stuff and buy a pack of plain vests and stuff so yeah and they have these in cream as well which i'm quite tempted to get but then looking at the knees of these i'm thinking should i and um, but these are her first set of like denim dungarees i think then i got her a dress which i honestly want myself it's so beautiful it's like the most gorgeous material cream embroidered like embroidery on lace i think it's called um yeah it's just beautiful i can't wait for her to wear this when it gets a bit warmer um, I'm obsessed. Then these are my favourite thing ever. I got her these little trousers and they've got the most beautiful pink and lilac floral print on them. They're like elasticated waist. It says they're twill. It's kind of like a denim-y feel. I think the dungarees might be that too. Although they look like denim. This kind of looks like denim but like softer. Um, but yeah, I love these. I hope they bring them out in other prints because they're so cute. I don't know if it, oh, these are 15 99 too. Everything's got the price on. The dress was more, I think. The dress is £25.99, which is quite a lot. Um, but I love it. Anyway, so I just got it. Um, I was having a YOLO moment. <laughs> and then another jumper like the other one, £15.99. It's like mint green with little polka dots on. Very cute. And these are so soft too. Um, so I couldn't resist getting her this. And finally from Zara, I got her this little shirt blouse. It's got this like really beautiful collar with bordery on glaze. I don't know if you can see. 
I'll put the pictures on the website on as well so you can see like babies wearing them. Um, and this comes in pink too. I'm quite tempted to get it. I just feel like underneath a dungaree dress or those dungarees will be so cute. And I'm picturing it with these little trousers. Just, she's going to be so much better dressed than me. <laughs> And then I got some bits from the White Company for her, as I said. So I love, love, love the White Company for summer dresses for little girls. I've got this one. It's got like little button detail at the back. And it's this really cute, ditzy, pale pink and yellow floral. Just so gorgeous. And I also got her this little gingham one, which is a bit different from any of the other dresses I could see in there, to be honest. It's got little pants. They both have got little pants to cover their nappy bums. <laughs> cover their modesty. Um, and it's like a kind of, is it cheesecloth material? You know, it's like really soft. Um, and it's got like the details. I would wear this dress myself, to be honest. I think I'd wear all of these clothes. Maybe not the pink dungarees. And then I got her new sleeping bag because she loves the sleeping bags from White Company and so do we, like honestly. We tried her in sleeping bags when we first got her. <laughs> we were first had her and she hated them and then at like eight weeks we tried her in a white company one i don't know if it's because white company or what but anyway she slept through the night that night for two months then and we were like never changing anything um and she's still sleeping well she's not still sleeping through she's sleeping through again we had a big patch of not sleeping at all um but she she just seems to love these ones we've tried other ones cheaper ones and they just don't do the job the same so they're not like super expensive. I think they're about 26 pounds, maybe 36 actually. I think this one might be because it's the biggest size. She's quite tall. Um, the only thing I would say is do not tumble dry them because I did and they shrank. Um, so yeah, don't tumble dry. But maybe that's quite obvious. If, if I read the washing instructions, it probably would say do not tumble dry. Um, and then let me just show you the little mini things we got. So I've got all unisex, I've got a little, tiny, mini little, this is newborn size. Um, White Company, Baby Grow. Just for reference, by the way, I do think White Company does come up quite small. Um, just because I remember getting newborn, not Baby Grows for her, we were in that bougie before, um, but we got her like a White Company, they're like flannel pyjamas, they're so cute, I'll put a link and a picture in. Anyway, we got her those and I just couldn't even bear the thought of putting her, dressing her in anything other than a white Baby Grow because I was just destroyed from the birth. So, by the time we got round to actually doing that, they didn't fit. And she was quite a small baby. So just beware that things do come up small, I think, on White Company compared to some of the other brands. So we've got this really cute little cloud one. And if you do know what you're having, they do do it in blue and pink as well. And this cute one with like a little shooting star print. Just very cute little soft baby grows. And then we've got her a little rompery one because her, <laughs> whoever, I don't know if I just said her then, I think. What? Her? Yeah. I don't know why I said her. I was obviously, because I've been talking about Margot. Well, maybe it is her, I don't know. And then we got them, this, because they're going to be born in August or late July, if they're early. So the short one is probably going to be necessary. So that's everything. I'm going to shoot now because I was just filming this in Margot's nap and now I've got to wake her up and take her to a baby class. Um, and yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. I'll link everything below and everything will be affiliate links. Thank you. Bye.